In this question, we have an acid with the formula HF, and our goal is to find the name of this acid. So there are a few rules we're going to follow when we're naming acids. The first is for binary acids. Binary acids just contain hydrogen and one other element. And when we're naming binary acids, they're going to be called hydro, then the non-metal base name, and then the ic ending acid. So for example, if HF is a binary acid, which it is, because it's hydrogen and one other element, fluorine, then it's going to be hydrofluoric acid. Oxy acids are those that contain hydrogen and oxygen and one other element. So these will include hydrogen and then a polyatomic ion that includes oxygen. So looking at our polyatomic ions list, for example, we might have the chlorate polyatomic ion, which is ClO3 minus, or the chlorite polyatomic ion, which is ClO2 minus. So we have different rules based on the ending of the polyatomic ion. If the polyatomic ion ends in ite, then the name is going to be the non-metal base name with the ending O-U-S, us, acid. On the other hand, if it's a polyatomic iron that ends in eight, then the name is going to be the non-metal base name, ic, acid. For example, in this question, we have HClO3. So we can go to our list of polyatomic ions and find ClO3. There it is. That is the chlorate polyatomic ion. So because it's the chlorate polyatomic ion, we're using the rule for polyatomic ions that end in 8, which means it's going to be the non-metal and then ic acid. So it's going to be chloric acid. Notice there's no hydro at the beginning. Hydrochloric acid happens if we just have H and Cl with no oxygen or anything else. On the other hand, in this question, we have the formula HClO2. So if we go to look at our reference list of polyatomic ions and find ClO2, here it is. That's the chlorite polyatomic ion. And since we have chlorite, we have the ite ending on our polyatomic ion, which tells us it's going to be the non-metal base name, which is chlor and then us acid, so chlorous acid. So to figure out the name of your acid, you're looking for, is it a binary acid with H and one other element? That makes it hydro something ic acid. Otherwise, if it's an oxy acid, you're looking at the polyatomic ion that forms that acid. If it's ite, the ending of the polyatomic ion, then it's a something us acid. On the other hand, if it ends in 8 for the polyatomic ion, then it's something ic acid.